call this muskmelon. Good morning, everyone. Let's focus on. Quiet. Morning, everyone. Okay. Uh, before the new district manager gets here, I just wanted to warn you. Her name is Lori Newstep. And she's a woman, so let's not act like that's weird. Um, is it weird? No. I mean, just don't act like anything's weird. Ever. In general. Nice recovery. Man, I hope she's a wilf. It's a woman I'd like to <gasps> That's what that means. I'm excited to have a woman in charge. The world's moving too fast. Enough already. I'm just worried that I'm going to say something weird. I wish I knew something more about her. I'm Googling her, and apparently she's from Denver. Denver! Terrific! Let's go with the Denver thing. Or we could just treat her like she's a human being. Yeah, but we've got the Denver thing, in case that doesn't work out. Right, and, and why wouldn't that okay, work? she's here. Places, everyone! Whoa, wait, 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 wait. What? Now I'm ready. Hey, everyone. My lady. Okay. Um, hi. I am Lori Neustadt. I'm taking over for Jeff. I'm going to be here all day walking around, getting to know the store, trying to figure out ways we can make things a little more efficient. So, um, busy day. Let's uh, get back out there. Let's get back out there. But they say that a lot on the slopes of Denver, huh? I guess. Actually, I think this is a different Lori Neustadt. Lori seems like kind of a bitch, right? She's like this strict school teacher in a porn, but nothing good ends up happening. She just, like, teaches. Yeah, and her shoes made a lot of noise. I mean, what? Are you guys seriously weirded out by a female boss? It's 2018. You're right. To be honest, I really liked her shoes. You know, a lot of people think that women make better bosses than men. It's like they say, uh, Ginger Rogers did everything Fred Astaire did, but backwards and in high heels. That's total crap. Why did Ginger dance backwards? Oh, uh, it's just an expression. They danced in circles or side by side. You're only defending her because she's a woman. That's sexism. If she was a man, there's no way we'd be standing around talking about her appearance. Exactly. Name one picture where Ginger Rogers was better than Rita Hayworth. I don't know any. Ginger Rogers was nothing. Come on, man. Big time. Top hat. Swinging down to Rio. You froze up, dude. Oh, excuse me, you're the floor manager, right? Uh, yeah. Hi, Amy. Hi. Um, there is an employee, Sal Kozlaskis, who has a lot of open sexual harassment complaints against him. Yeah, it's fine. He died in the wall. Oh, that's this door. Mm -hmm. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Yeah, anytime. Hey, um, can I just say, it's, it's really cool to have a woman district manager. I mean, it's about time, <laughs> right? Thank you. Well, I had to have sex with a lot of board members to get here, so... I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't. Anyway, uh, if I can, you know, give you a hand with anything, let me know. Oh, actually, you know what? I would love some help with some of these personnel details. Oh, uh, yeah, OK, sure. <laughs> Arby's has the meats, but Amy's got the deets. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was weird. That was weird. We try and keep Carol and Sandra on opposite sides of the store. It's sort of like a, like a Crips and Bloods thing. And Justine Sikowitz. Justine is a hard worker. Um, she cries a lot in the bathroom. But not like in a way where you feel like you have to go in. Got it. OK. Uh, Myrtle Vartanian. Oh, Myrtle. Yeah. She's sweet. She doesn't do very much, doesn't do it very well. But she actually makes more money than anyone else at her level. Yeah. Well, I guess when you've been here that long, even 40 cent pay bumps add up. <laughs> Good to know. All right, well, at least we know we can cut Myrtle. Okay, why don't you tell me about Cody? Oh, wait, uh, sorry. Um, when you say cut Myrtle, you don't mean like... Oh, my God, no, I'm not like a monster. Oh, <laughs> okay, a <laughs> few. I'm not like gonna literally cut her. No, I just mean fire her. Oh, um, okay, tell me about Marcus White. What's his IQ? Because if it's low enough, we get a tax break. <laughs> Okay, if we got rid of break room coffee, we would save another $300 a year. Great, let's take it. That would put us over 8000 Hey, you guys taking the coffee? If we don't find enough budget cuts to cover her salary, Lori is going to fire Myrtle. Oh. What? Are you kidding? Wait, why would she fire Myrtle? Nobody knows. It's just random. It's because she's a bitch. Lori, not Myrtle. 
please. Jeff did all kinds of crappy things and no one ever called him a bitch. When Jeff changed the vendors for the vending machine, you called him a Yeah, well that's because the vending machine didn't have any talkies. Sorry, if Lori is being a bitch, wouldn't the truly sexist thing be for me to not call her a bitch? No, that's not the point. Actually, I think I kind of agree with Marcus. What? Yes! Red Pill Brothers. No, I just mean if we had true equality, you could call out women for doing something terrible when they're doing something terrible. I like being a bitch. See, there's that word again. Maybe let's not Don't. use that. Yeah, only women can use the word bitch because we took that word back, right, lady? No, bitch. The gays took that from you. Okay, I think we're off track. To be honest, I'm not sure what on track would look like. Hey, if Hitler was a woman, would you be defending Hitler? No, obviously not. What if Oprah hosted the Holocaust? I'm not sure one hosts a Holocaust. Don't mansplain her. Okay. I'm not in favor of any Holocaust, but if there was a Holocaust, then yeah, Oprah's who I would want to host it. And I actually agree with that. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yeah. 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 That's a really good one. I think we solved sexism, guys.